Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking gas cooktops or stove cooktops. And in the event that yours is making that constant clicking sound and you've watched a ton of YouTube videos, you've tried cleaning all the parts, chances are it's your control module. And in this video, we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your control module. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, we are at the cooktop and it is on the floor on a piece of cardboard so it does not scuff up the actual hardwood floor. And as you can see, we've got our grates. We are going to remove all of the grates as well as these plates. And we are going to remove all five of our knobs. And with equal pressure, be patient, these are a little tough. Underneath those are your ignition switches. So again, remove all knobs all grates and all plates. From here I'll continue to remove all four knobs. Making progress, all five knobs removed, all three grates removed, as well as all five plates removed. From here you have circular plates. These are your igniters. Do not harm them. Carefully remove this circular plate in a way where you do not touch the igniters and you will do this for all five burners. From here we need to flip the cooktop over and gain access to the rear side. Okay at this point the cooktop is laying on its face and this is the rear panel here. You'll notice some Phillips screws your screws may be Phillips screws or flathead screws. And up in the top left corner, that is the actual gas hookup for the pressure regulator. And in our case, we have already removed that. So let's continue on. You've got a Phillips screw here on the opposite side there and two additional ones. Let's go ahead and remove four of those screws. All four screws are removed and I'm not sure if your cooktop will be the same. However, this is just a plate. We'll set that aside in a safe location. And the whole purpose of removing that plate is to gain access to one, two, three, four, five additional screws, which will allow us to pull this entire plate off. So with that said, let's continue and remove all these Phillips screws. Making progress so far we've removed 16 screws plus the additional four. Hopefully your cooktop has less screws. However, not all screws are the same so take mental note or make sure you take a photo. When it comes time to reinstall this plate you want to make sure you put the correct screws back in the correct holes. And also very important when it comes time to purchase replacement parts this is your information sticker. It has your model number, your serial number, as well as additional items there that are important. At this point, all screws but one are removed. The largest screw on your cooktop is most likely the ground screw and will not need to be removed. Cooktop is back in the upright position on the piece of cardboard and the lower screws are removed. From here, we have full access to the actual control module. And this is going to be probably the most annoying portion of the project. However, we have to do it. You'll notice that each cable that goes in has a number. One, two, three, four, five on the left side. And starts at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We are going to get some tape and label every single one of these that go into the actual module. So we don't get confused when it comes time to reinstall them. And I've got a piece of blue paint tape and one through five. 8 through 14 and then 15 and 16 and all I'm going to do is grab some scissors and cut each of these and apply them and there may be a better way to do it however this is the way I'm going to do it with my current resources. Back at the cooktop and I spent a couple minutes and cut the pieces of tape 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 8 through 16 for the right side and back under here to the control module you'll notice 1 is on the top block, 2 is on the top block three is on the lower block, four top block, and five lower block. And on the right side, eight through 16, 
you've got numbers on the top as well as numbers on the side for reference. From here, I'll just wrap the pieces of tape. At this point, I have all cords labeled. And as you can see, you can see the numbers here. So from here, we're just going to spend a couple of seconds and pull off all the electrical connection points and remove them from the actual module. All right, the one, two, three, four, and five are removed. We'll have to the other side and remove these. On the opposite side now. And carefully remove all of eight through 15. Back up top, all electrical cords removed and inside that little hole right there is a Phillips screw. And on the back side, you have an additional screw. Go ahead and loosen up that and it's in a slot. You don't actually have to remove that screw all the way. Just loosen it and you'll be able to shift the actual control module and remove that screw inside that hole there. After loosening up this Phillips screw inside the hole and we've already loosened up the actual slotted screw, you can shift it and pull the entire control module up and out. Old control module is fully removed. Inside that hole is that Phillips screw, and there is where the control module rests. Let's go get the new control module. New parts in the box, let's go ahead and open it. Here's the brand new control module, and the old module had a sticker right here for a part number. I took that sticker off, and I put it on the side of this control module. I also added a cool Raptor sticker, and I'm going to leave that sticker on there so down the road here in a few years, if we ever sell this house and the next owner replaces the cooktop, they might find this goofy Raptor sticker and think, huh, why is that there? From here, take the new control module, insert it in place, secure it with the Phillips screws and secure all the electrical cords to the actual control module. And here is a better view of the actual screw that we unscrewed. Again, we did not remove it all the way. We only needed to unscrew it. Brand new control module inserted, properly aligned, secured with the Phillips screws, and all the electrical connection points are properly connected to their respective number. From here, we are going to carefully remove the tape and lower the top portion of the cooktop down. All the number pieces of tape are removed and carefully realign the cooktop. What we'll do now is Turn it back on its backside and secure the lower screws. Cooktop is flipped over, properly align the screw holes, insert and secure the screws. If yours is like ours, we have four screws that secure this plate. Plate secured to the actual bottom portion of the cooktop. And if you're curious, those little screws sticking out, that's what secures the module. From here, flip the cooktop back on the upright position. Cooktop flipped over in the upright position. From here, grab these circular rings. And as you reinsert these, do not harm that igniter. Be very careful. From here, we will grab the knobs and the plate, reinstall those, and then rest the grates back on the cooktop. And as you insert the knobs, yours could be different, but ours has a red line here that is the up or top portion of the knob. On the bottom side, it has a half circular slot. Position those properly on the rods with equal pressure. Push down and continue that process, all four knobs. All five of our knobs are secured. From here, we'll grab our plates and you'll notice a round slot here. That loops around your actual igniter and you'll continue this process all five plates. From here, we'll grab our grates and rest them on the cooktop. From here, double check you're not leaving any parts behind and we are going to reinsert and install this cooktop to our countertop, gas line, and electrical outlet. That's it YouTubers, hope the video helps. See a quick friendly DIY project. From here, do us a favor, below the video you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.